y'all, it's Katie and welcome back. Welcome back to another unedited video from me. Um, I wanted to sit down and talk about some new makeup because there's been su some new makeup that's come out that I'm super excited about. I also need to clean my makeup brushes, specifically my foundation brushes. So I have my Cinema Secrets here. I'm going to clean a couple brushes, probably for 20 minutes tops. I know I say this like every time and then I go half hour, but I'm gonna try to keep it short today just because I just don't have the time. But I need to clean some brushes. I'm out of you know makeup brushes and it's just been a struggle to use these older ones. <laughs> It's not blending out as nice as it usually is. So we're gonna clean some while we talk about it I'm gonna try my best to put the pictures here because I did get some requests even though the video is gonna be largely unedited I am gonna run through it and stick these up Yeah, I'm gonna do it just because I feel like it makes sense So it's not gonna be fancy editing, but y'all at least see a picture here of what I'm talking about. So first up fantasy Cosmetica uh, this is launching September 27th. This is cool. I like the combination of this type of green with this blue. Um, it's really cool. I like the grungy green. Or what did I say? I think I think I said green and blue. <laughs> I think I, I might have said the wrong color. I can't even remember. But anyway, this type of green with this type of blue. Or like that neon green there. Not so much the grungy because I feel like grungy green and blue go together all the time. But that like neon almost, what is it? What, is, what do people call it? I don't know. That neon green. I love it. I feel like that's a fun combination with that type of blue. So I'm definitely tempted, but I feel like ugh, the last time I tried, I didn't have the greatest luck with their grungy greens. So it definitely makes me pause. This does have blues. Um, I don't think I've tried blues, but blues, blue purple can also be kind of tricky to blend out and whatnot. So I don't know how I would get along with this palette, but it, I think the color, the color palette that they put together is really neat and different and you know unique and tempting for sure. I like that they have, what is it, four shimmers and the rest mattes. They got a really dark black or dark, dark blue. It's really hard to say. And maybe that's a purple green, I'm not, or a purple blue. I don't even know if those colors are like straight up blue. It might be more purple leaning, but whatever it is, it's definitely pretty. But I'm not gonna be picking it up just because, like I said, I'm just a little, you know, not sure if I would jive with it. And I don't know, it's something I feel like I, I see and it's like, oh, that's super pretty. Maybe I'll have a little bit of FOMO from not getting it, but I can still like pass and I'd be okay. So I'm not planning to get this, but I do think it is super pretty and I, I like the color story. I like the layout and all that. So let's move on to the next one. Oh, I gotta sneeze. I'm sorry, I'm gonna sniffle for a second. Try not to sneeze. Um, what is this? Um, Castle of Horrors Ladybug Glow. Oh, she's coming out with a, uh, this is new to me. I didn't even see this earlier. She's coming out with a new palette. This is a purple theme palette. Ooh, strong purple with that kind of gray in there. Um, I, I, you guys know me, I'm not into purple. So it's an easy pass for me. The, you know, packaging and whatnot isn't for me. It's like a spooky, you know, Halloween theme palette. It's an easy pass. And then it's like a purple, it's got some blue vibes in there. So purple blue with a little bit of like gray in there. Cool color story, but for me, not being a purple person is a palette I can easily look at and be like, oh, okay, pass. But this is, I got a glare. Uh, this is launching when? September 30th, if you're curious. Oh yes, this is the one I was excited about. Blend Bunny Cosmetics is launching a sickly sweet palette. Now this palette, when I first saw it, I was a little like, mm, I don't know, I just was kind of, it was taking me back to Glam Lights Ice Cream Dream. What is this called? Ice Cream, uh, Ice Cream Dream, yeah, this palette right here. That's what it took me back to, but of course, Blend Bunny has got the depth in there, which I always appreciate. Um, whereas uh, the Glam Light really didn't have all much uh, depth when it came to, you know, different types of uh, deep shades. So I like that about it. But um, then uh, I saw, let me go to my photos so I can remember. I saw Gina do a collage or like rearrange it in order. And I like this, I like this version, version a lot better because I could kind of like see it. I really liked how Blend Bunny did those older palettes where it was all in line. That was very... Uh, just pleasing to me. It was like very inviting, very easy for me to look at and go. So the whole having it scattered is just a little bit like, oh, uh, like glam light. Like I said, it really does give me those glam light vibes of just being chaos. And maybe just, you know, goes along with the theme of, you know, more spooky palette, you know, having it more chaotic. But I definitely missed her kind of like neat little rose. I always love that. So anyway, getting back to it. This is really pretty. I feel like it's a glam light palette, but a more of a color story I would like. Cause like I said, that glam light didn't have the depth that you guys know I love. And um, 
I know, I know Blend Buddy's gonna do well when it comes to pastels. The really, uh, even the soft pastels, I'll be curious to try, but those deep, like the, that bright yellow, I'm sure that's gonna like be so, so beautiful. Um, so, and I feel like overall, there's only like two or three shades that are super soft, where it might be, you know, like one of those shades that is like invisible. It's like you only need one of these because you can't really tell a color difference. But overall, all of the shades look like they pack a punch, they're nice, and they'll, they'll create some pretty looks, I am sure. I have still not decided if I'm gonna get this or not. I keep going back and forth, so let me know in the comments. Help me out, because I don't know what to do. I kind of want it, but then I look at it, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, it's a pastel palette. I don't, I don't know, am I into pastels right now? It's kind of a weird season for pastels. I feel like I'm gonna be so into the autumn-y autumnal looks right now that I don't think I'll like it. That's the biggest draw, like, uh, thing that's kind of making me hesitate. But at the same time, the only palette I'm, oh no, I shouldn't say that. Oh, one of the palettes I skipped that I still regret and I want to pick it up before she gets rid of it completely was the, um, Surge palette. I never picked that up and I, she's getting, like, discontinuing it now because of just, um, source the ingredients for those neons and I definitely want to pick it up before it goes away forever so I'm like maybe I can pick up the new palette and that older one just to make sure you know I get it I have it in my collection before it's gone forever but I don't know I'm going back and forth so let me know what you think okay a little bit of an intermission there I'm gonna have to crop that out uh, someone needed help going potty so I took care of them now we're back let's move on shine by SD nine new shifty shades these are really pretty shine by SD especially these they look like those type of toppery shadows because they don't look like they pack a punch uh, a punch a bunch of impact in the color but they have so much shine in shifty colors that they're very pretty they give you that like wet look kind of like see-through wet look to your eyelids if you like that type of look I feel like I'm just not that person. Anytime I've done that type of, you know, these type of shadows where they don't have much color, but when you turn, they offer a lot of sh uh, offer a lot of shift. And I try to go minimal and just pack that on and kind of have that be the star of the look. I always feel like I just it's just not me. I just like color. Even today, with this look, well, this is the Natasha Denona. Um, I'm blanking on it, but the grungy palette, I'm blanking on the title. But anyway, even this, I tried to just do one simple color. I went really soft on my outer corner with the, you know, the dark shade and went super soft with what's going in my crease. That's it. I tried to be light and I just feel like, mm, I don't know, it's just something missing. Like it's fine for a really simple look, but it's definitely not an eye look that I'm just like, I don't know, jazzed and excited and totally... I don't know, super pumped to wear. It's a fine look, not to say that I, I don't like it, but it just doesn't excite me, I guess is what I'm saying. So anyway, I just think I'm not, I'm not that person for these type of um, eyeshadows, but I know a lot of people are. So you'll have to let me know if you're getting the Fantasy 2.0 collection. Oh, I have to burp, I'm so sorry. Um, notoriously morbid, mor <laughs> notoriously morbid is launching a new palette, The Night of the Vivid Dead. These are like neon shadows with a black in there. It's got some shimmers in there. That I am intrigued. That looks really, really cool. Um, I, what's the cover look like? I haven't even seen this before. Yeah, I'm not into the artwork of the color, but I like the neonness of the shadows. Like that orange, that red orange, holy cow, that's super intense. Um, the yellow looks a little weak, like that neon yellow green color. It's very see through, lightish, so I feel like if you were to blend that out, unless you're going to pack it on and kind of be a, uh, the star of the show on the lid, you're probably not going to see that much. Um, but that, that orange yellow is impressive. I'm not going to be picking it up though. I haven't tried the brand yet. One of these days, maybe I'll try it, but. Um, I haven't tried, but I do like how much intensity they put in their, their neons. I think neons in the fall is a nice twist, like something different, because definitely, like I said, I'm into those autumnal, autumny, fall vibe tones. So, um, I don't know, my, my, my mind, my, uh, like, what I like to put on my eyes doesn't really go to neons, but it's a fun twist, especially if you have, like, grungy, autumny tones with neon pops of color. Like, that could be a really cool look. All right, let's just scroll down. Unearthly Cosmetics had their Devour pre-sale. It's already live. This is a new collection. The palette looks pretty enough. It kind of makes me think of the the new ABH palette that came out recently. Um, it really has those vibes. I, I don't know, for whatever reason, it makes me think of that. Obviously, I don't think the um, ABH had um, the greens, but all the rest makes me think of it. I'm gonna be passing, I'm not into the artwork. And the color, of the palette color store, I feel like it's pretty, but I don't know, nothing I can't say no to, so since I'm just not into the artwork, it's an easy pass for me. Oh yeah, Lethal Cosmetics came out with a new palette. This is the Two Up collection, or Meet Two, no wait, 
not meat. That's not in the title. I think it's meat. The two up collection are sequel to the one up collection. This time in a portable version. So they have a little like game console thing. Before even diving into the colors, the design of the palette inside is just one that kind of bugs me. Like there's so much wasted space there. There's what, nine shadows? No, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten shadows. But there's so much empty space. I'm just like, uh, I don't like it. It's just that type of spacing and whatnot for a palette. It's just not for me. I don't know. Uh, it just annoys me. I've had palettes like that before. And anytime I'm using it, it's just kind of like, uh, why don't you put other shadows in here? You have all this space. Put a few more shadows that I can play with because at the end of the day, you know, yes, the eyeshadow palettes are pretty, you know, pretty to display and all that, but they have things in them that I can use, like eyeshadows and whatnot that I can use. So you know me, the more colors, the better. So that annoys me. But then looking at it, it's like purple, green, and blue. I feel like Letha Cosmetics does that a lot. Am I alone here? I feel like most of their eyeshadow, um, I feel like the one up was just purple, blue. Um, or not purple blue, but like uh, green and pur uh, green and blue. Can I speak? It had similar vibes to it. So I don't know. This while I appreciate Lethal Cosmetics as like the brand is a really great brand. I like that they try to think out of the box for their their palettes and whatnot to do something different. But it's <laughs> it's too different for me, and I'm not a gamer, so I think that also has something to do with it. It's as a disconnect for me there when it comes to just how game themed they are with their releases. So. It's just not for me, it's an easy pass, but I'll be curious to see what looks people do for sure, because I always like to see these type of colors used in looks, like the, the green and the blue with those purples and pinks. It looks like an orangey type of uh, shade there, like a peachy orange. I'll definitely be curious to see looks, but for me, I won't be picking it up. Oh yeah, here's a little tiny sneak peek of Glam Light's new collection. They're collaborating with Ghostface or Mis uh, Mr. Ghostface. Um, let's see, 920, 929, it will be available, and I don't think they've shared or revealed the collection. Maybe at the time of me posting this tomorrow? They're starting to reveal little bits, like the picture and whatnot. I can already tell you, I'm not going to be picking up, because it's probably going to be a large palette with like a wide variety of colors, which will intrigue me, because they know how to get me, but the packaging is just, it's not, hang on. I'm grabbing more brushes. Sorry, going off screen. It's not my style, so um, I'm not going to be picking it up. Uh, I have not watched the series, but I have watched commentary on it. Um, who's my favorite? I can't even think of who's done my favorite one. Uh, like, what YouTubers done my favorite commentary on it. But I've watched the movies through watching other people. Just, I, I find it so enjoyable. If it's not a movie I'm, like, personally interested in watching, to watch, like, a, a commentary, or even, like, it's kind of more a comedian commentary. Uh, their video on it is hilarious and makes it so much more fun and they tend to cut out all the boring stuff in movies so you only see the interesting stuff and you still get the the plot line and all that anyway that's the only way i've watched it so i know a little bit about ghostface and all that but i'm not into it it's not for me um so it's an easy pass and i'm not into the packaging so all of it around easy pass unless they totally come out of like left field with the with the with the color story like i was saying i have a feeling it's just gonna be a nice wide variety of colors not rainbow but you know how they do, Glamlight does. They do pretty big and they kind of get all the colors in there and do the beautiful saturations that just make me want to just buy the palette instantly. <laughs> but I feel like, I don't know, I'm not expecting anything groundbreaking with their color story. But I hope they surprise me. We'll see. If they do come out with something groundbreaking, I'll have to mention it or something on my Instagram and just admit that they, they proved me wrong. They could do something interesting. But I feel like... If it is, if it is that type of, you know, color story that they kind of did for, what was their last palette launch that, uh, was it the Scooby-Doo palette that was just kind of like all those typical colors, or maybe it was the, um, Chucky? No, Chucky I think was more red. I forget. They've done, they come out with so many palettes I can't keep them straight sometimes. But anyway, I have a feeling I will, it'll be an easy pass for me, so. Uh, probably won't be into the color story, probably, and I'm not into the packaging, so it's an easy pass for me. Let's see, what's next? Um, oh yeah, I forget if I talked about this in my last palette or like uh, new makeup, but Adept Cosmetics, Sumerian Sunset, I think I did. Cause I think I just said that, the, that when the Adept comes out with a new palette, I always look at it and be like, didn't they already launch that? Like the, the vibe of their colors or the color stores are always so very similar. I feel like they're very repetitive. Even down to, and you guys know, I love grungy greens, you guys know that. But even down to the matte grungy green, I feel like they put that in every single palette that they launch. Am I wrong? 
I, mean, I, I might be wrong, but that's what it feels like to me. And I feel like I've already talked about this in my last video, so we're just gonna keep on moving, but obviously not getting it. Um, what else do we have? Oh my goodness, what else do we have? Lots of different palettes, but I feel like these are all older, older releases, so I don't want to go too, too um, old. Let me look at my save stuff, because I feel like there was another big launch or a big reveal that I wanted to mention, and then I'm probably going to have to wrap this up. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, ColourPop. Obviously, ColourPop again. ColourPop launched something, because they always do. This is their Angel Vibes uh, Angel Vibes only with our new 1111 collection. I don't know. It's a neutral palette, like a neutral taupey, uh, cool tone palette. Like I said, they do one of these palettes like every other month, I feel like. So it's, it's a really easy pass for me. And I think they did two different type of, didn't they do two, two different type of palettes? Which didn't make any sense because it was like one was round palettes, one was square palettes. I don't know. I saw it and I was like, eh, okay, whatever. <laughs> pass. Um, oh yeah, that's who. Pat McGrath revealed their ho her holiday collection. And per usual, she's coming out with so many things that it's overwhelming. Beautiful packaging, but absolutely overwhelming with how many things are coming out. That I just look at it and I say, pass, because it's just too much for me to think about. <laughs> but even looking at it a little bit closer, I'm not into the cheek palettes. The eyeshadow palettes, I feel like, is the only thing, the type of color story she ever does. She has colored mascara, so that's kind of cool. But the little five pan palettes, they're all kind of the same, but with one or two colors that are different. Like one, they're all the same tones, but they switch out like a more um, grungy green, a more pinky neutral, a uh, tealy green. I don't know. Not into this. <laughs> you can't tell. Not into this collection at all. Um, let's see. Then I was going to talk about this. Um, this is from the brand, what's it called? Uh, it's like fancy. Oh, Ensley. I was like, where is the, the brand name? But it, I saved the post from the brand, so they don't mention their brand name. Anyway, Ensley Cosmetics Whispers of, wait, no, that's not what it's called. Harvest Moon Palette. This palette is intriguing. It's only got one row of mattes, and then the other two rows are shimmers. So when I see that, I'm like, ah, I'm kind of, you know, automatically inclined not to get it. But it has a lot of pretty colors. I feel like Ensley is known for its special shadows for sure. So I feel like that's probably why they focus so heavily on those special shadows. And I feel like people who really enjoy those special shadows often don't want it to get, I mean, not to say this, but I feel like a lot of times when they like those special type of eyeshadows, they don't mind just like one eyeshadow, like one matte to blend out in the outer corner. And then the rest is focused on the beautiful special shadow. I could be totally wrong there, but I feel like for me, you guys know I say this all the time, but I like to really play with the mattes and then have like one or two um, shimmers to put on the lid or to put on the lid and call it a day. So for me, I it just doesn't have enough mattes for me, but the shimmers do look pretty. Some of them are really close, but still each one is just a little bit different. That makes them feel like they have a purpose and they're so like some of them are a little bit more sheer, but most of them look so saturated so beautiful that I'm like, mm, very pretty. Definitely tempted, but I don't think I'm gonna get it at the end of the day. I think it'll be pretty, but I will watch it from a distance. That orange shimmer, oh, that orange shimmer looks so intense. It's beautiful, but I'm still saying, not gonna get it. I will resist the temptation. <laughs> um, what, who is this from? Oh yeah, Davina, no, Delmar, Davini Beauty, sorry. Davini Beauty released Del Mar eyeshadow palette. This palette looks super pretty. Like this, the swatches of this is just so intense. Dee Dee does an amazing job making anything look good on her. She's just, her swatches, her pictures, everything's so beautiful. But anyway, she just swatched these. They look super pigmented and saturated. Like some of these, what was it? The color that impressed me the most. Was it the purple? Even though I'm not into purple, that purple shimmer looks so reflective beautiful and then the even the neon green and um yellow look nicely pigmented like they would really stand out on your skin and not get too kind of faded out so this palette intrigued me i didn't pick it up but it definitely intrigued me especially enough to save it, it has one sparkle matte which you guys know i don't like sparkle mattes it's just a waste in my opinion but then it has 17 mattes and seven chromes and shimmers which is so many mattes you know that would makes me happy but yeah, $48, I was really tempted to get this one. 
Let's see, I think that's gonna be about it. Let me look one more time and see, but I think I, scrolling down, I already touched on all of those. And let's go to, at least I got a, a good bit of brushes done, that's good. Um, let me check Motivate the Earth, she's another channel that I like to follow. Or, you know, channel, uh, Instagram page is what I mean by that. Um, yeah, a lot of palettes, nothing that really grabs my attention, and I kind of have to go. So if it doesn't grab my attention, I'm going to try to to wrap it up here. Um, yeah, I think that's going to be about it. Sorry for this kind of dull, dull spot in the video. Part of not editing is <laughs> sometimes you got to think on your feet. Um, yeah, okay, that's going to be about it. I didn't mention it in here because I already did my own video, but Odin's Eye came out with a collab, obviously. I did a video on it, so if you want to hear my thoughts, um, you could definitely check that out. Oh, that's what it was. Thank you. I knew there was something. Um, let me go to P. Louise. They were coming out with a holiday collection. P. Louise. And I think they shared it all. I must have missed it on the other pages. Um, maybe. Who's, who did I save this? Let me hang on. Let me go find it because I'm having P. Louise Academy. Wait, where is P. Louise Academy? It's not even showing up on my... All right, let me see if Trend Mood shared it. Because I tried to type in P. Louise and the Instagram page isn't even showing up, like the brand's Instagram page. That's weird, I must be typing it in wrong. And I'm just trying to move too fast and I didn't see. Okay, this is the one, I'll use this picture. Um, this is their two different ones, it looks like, a double-sided, or maybe it's one book double-sided. Book of Spells double-sided palettes will be available October 1st. One is a droplet of magic and the other is Hocus Pocus. Okay, so two different palettes, both of them are double-sided. One of them is like purple-orange paired with a really cool toned gray to blue. And then the other palette is like oranges and reds with purples and greens. Very pretty, but per usual, when it comes to P. Louise, overwhelming because there's just so much. I don't like this type of palette that's double-sided. I have one of them that's like this. I'm assuming it's exactly like this. Watching the video, it, it, it looked like it was the same thing, but it's how it, it works is it has a palette on this side and then you have to flip it over to the other side, have the palette. I kind of wish that they had either just put both of the, you know, like eyeshadows on this side and then put a mirror here and called it a day or made it so you could keep it like this but be able to like pull out you know maybe you have a little tab here where you can pull out the whole palette on this side so then you could like open this side put the palette here and then have the whole palette because when you're actually using this in real life like in front of your makeup table and you want to go to both sides it's very annoying to have to be like lay this out use what you want and then if you need the other side you have to like flip it over, open it back up, and it's just, it's not quite so easy as having everything laid out. So I don't love that method. It's very pretty, definitely it looks very pretty on my shelf for sure, but practically speaking, creating looks from it speaking, not my favorite. And then also, like I said, just so many colors. I feel like I have those colors a lot. It's just, I don't know, it's, they're pretty, but they just don't call to me as being that unique or that that those type of shades that just grab me and makes me want to have repeats in my collection. Neither one of those. Also, I'm not into the packaging. Obviously, this shouldn't be new to you if you're if you've been watching my videos. So overall, it's going to be a, a very easy pass for me. I don't know why I'm burping so much today. I'm so sorry. But this is gonna be my last brush that I'm cleaning. The 101 from BK Beauty. A BK Beauty, that's it. Oh my goodness. All right, we're just gonna make this. Uh, BK Beauty. This is going to be the never ending video because I've been saying I'm going to wrap it up for like the last 10 minutes. BK Beauty though is, lo is collaborating with, let me see the video or the picture. Um, maybe it's just a video right now. Two years. Okay, so Angie and her are collaborating and it's been two years since they collaborated on their original brushes, which I absolutely love. I know I have them here somewhere. I think I cleaned them, but uh, obviously this is the original, but the ones here, it is from Angie, hot and flashy. This is the A503. 
fantastic brush. I really do like that. Anyway, they have a couple other ones that are more detailed that I love even more. But anyway, they're collaborating again with Angie and they are doing a couple different brushes. Their slanted brush is in there. I love that. It's kind of like the one I just cleaned here. I love a good blending brush. Are they bringing in anything new? It features four of the original Angie brushes you know and love and in a travel size and a travel size of the 101 brush. Okay, so four of the most popular, I guess, um, brushes from Angie's collection with this brush, which is like um, BK Beauty's most popular brush. They made them travel size in a collection and that's their collab collection together. Okay, sorry, I, I remember seeing it, but I didn't have time to like sit and study what brushes were in it. So that's really cool if you missed it the first time or if you really enjoy their brushes and wanna be able to have travel brushes for when, if you travel a lot to not have the big long handles, that's really cool. So huge congratulations. I'm not gonna be picking up just cause I'm not into travel brushes. I, I, I don't travel that often, but uh, if you do travel, that's really cool. So that's gonna that's gonna be where I wrap it up. We're gonna finish this out and do a bit of a longer video per usual. I always go longer than I mean to, but I got a ton of brushes clean, so that's awesome. I think I just have this left to clean, so that's great because I was really behind at the beginning of this week. So yeah, that is gonna do it for me. Um, thank you guys so very much for watching. As I always say, if you want to continue following me, I'm over on Instagram, Lady Katie 92 over there. I'm also on the Makeup Homesteader. If you like to see more related to animals, I'm not very consistently posting on either one of them, but I try. So if you want to follow me over there, that's where I post as frequently as I can. So with that said, that's gonna do it for me. I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye guys.